Oh, okay. G'day, everybody. I've been told I have to record this. His head bopping. Yeah. What is it? Is it what is what it? Is, is it, it a shag or an egret? Might be a goose. No, it's not a goose. Oh, I'm the only goose around here, Callum. No. So, everybody, how's it going? Oh, look, he's for me. Oh. He's gone. He's had a little duck under. Ah, duck under. Get it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was an awesome dad joke. Um. Yes, he is. He's going fast. <clears throat> That's because the water's flowing so fast, I think. Um, it is a wet one here today, everybody, <clears throat> in Mind Master land. My voice is going. Callum's voice is okay. My, my, my throat hurts. Yeah, oh, his throat hurts. Oh. Anyway, I wanted to talk about being an expert. So, I had a question uh, stating that I use neuroscience for what I do in helping kids and <clears throat> am I a neuroscientist? The answer is no, I am not a neuroscientist um, and I am a teacher. I have been a teacher for over 20 years and just found neuroscience activities which can change the brain to learn and improve reading by on an average over two years. So, am I an expert? No. Callum. Yeah. Are you an expert in in health? Uh, no. No. Could be. But you're not an expert in health. However, do you know? what good foods are to eat and what bad foods are to eat? No. <laughs> Don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what would be an example of some good foods? Um, lettuce. Great. Yeah. Carrot. So fruit and veg, yeah. Um, um, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, nice one, dude. Pizza. What about <clears throat> exercise? Exercise. You're not an expert in health, but... Do you know that exercise is good for you or bad for you? It's good for you. It's good for you. It could be bad. Too much of it, you think? Depends on the exercise. Okay, so here we have it from a nine-year-old. You don't have to be an expert to know that some things can help you. And that's where I'm at. So I've been doing this, <clears throat> our booster program. I've been running for about 10, 10 years-ish, a bit more and have helped thousands of kids um, get to level, be more productive, become more verbal, more social, and <laughs> there's my big kid over there, look, Play, playing on Callum's scooter. So, yes. <laughs> he tricked me with that. He did, he's going to try to chuck it in. So yes, we don't have to be, oh, nice move, Gus. We don't have to be an expert <clears throat> to know that something can help us. And I wouldn't say I'm a psychologist, yet we have um, techniques that would be classed. <clears throat> as helping kids with mindset, even though we're not experts and have a degree. And I think it's a big thing we, we can learn is just from life experience and from testing and trialing and doing things for ourselves, we can work out what's good for us, bad for us, good for others, if, if we find out what, what works. So, <clears throat> no, I am not a neuroscientist, however, I, I use neuroscience principles to help the children. I think we've got the river starting to rise for those people who have been following along with these lives. Um, just starting to come up again. So we, we could be in for a flood. I'll show you tomorrow when we go 
back down there. I'll show you where the flood levels came up to in 56 and 70, 73. Um, and we will, we will um, see if the floodwaters, when they come up this time, are going to beat it or not. It'd be quite interesting. All right, everybody, have a great day. Mind master over and out. Bye for now.